Happy holidays to all of you who celebrate this time of year. I just wanted to pop in to send you my warmest wishes for lots of yummy food and lots of sleeping in, and of course, safe travels. And maybe you'll have time over this break to clear your mind and get some perspective and start thinking about how things went this year and what you might want to create for yourself next year. People have celebrated this time of year for tens of thousands of years as the last celebration before those cold, hard months of darkness settle in. The winter solstice makes the longest night of the year. It's a time when we want to cuddle up with our loved ones and never get out of bed. So no wonder it's been associated with birth and the creation of new life. Darkness gives us time to think and reflect and plan. New Year's just around the corner. And there are some things I think all of us know have just got to change. What have you been putting up with? What hasn't been working for you? And what do you think you could do differently? And by that, I don't mean lose weight and use that gym membership. Body modification is always the first thing that comes to mind when we think about New Year's resolutions, but there are much more important things to consider, like how we can create a life that works for us instead of working our life away. How many of you are exhausted? Yeah, me too. Nothing ever seems to slow down anymore. It's just one crisis after another, and you're always behind on something. When you're running on fumes, you can't do much more than stumble through the day and then fall into bed at night ravenous for a few hours where you just don't have to think you can just stare at a screen. So it's no wonder that so much of our love lives have switched over to screens because getting dressed and going out and making conversation with somebody is so much harder than lying in bed in your pajamas texting them. But maybe, just maybe, we can't create the space for love until we create space for us. So maybe what we need is not a man, but maybe more fuel in our tank. Because when your life is working for you, everything is easier. Meeting people is easier. Finding the energy to go out is easier. Shrugging off rejections easier. But when you are burned out, everything feels impossible. People just annoy you. Everything seems like extra work. And no matter what you try, you just know it's going to fail. So perhaps this holiday season, instead of giving yourself more to do, you might want to find ways to do less. How can you find more fuel so that you don't keep running out? Now, fuel can come in many forms. Sometimes that fuel is spiritual. So it's having time to be quiet and contemplate and feel connected to something greater than you. And sometimes that fuel is social. It's feeling recharged by your friends and getting out and being surrounded by people. Sometimes that fuels physical. It's eating foods that nourish your body and getting more sleep and starting that walking routine. And sometimes that fuel comes from pleasure. It comes from treating yourself in the very best way possible because that's just what you do for people you love. So make time for fueling yourself up. Know what you personally need to do to fill your inner reserves. And if that means turning down things, turn them down. And if that means disappointing people, disappoint them. You can't give when you've got nothing left to give. I find, of course, that really hard to practice myself this time of year because there's so much to do and there's so many expectations. So maybe I won't start practicing that until after the holidays. But for all of you fellow people pleasers, it can be so hard to feel like you have the right to time for yourself. But if you want to give people your best self, then you've got to start figuring out what makes you feel like your best self. And sometimes that will mean setting down really clear boundaries around your availability. As Dr. Gabor Mata explains, it's better to feel guilty for disappointing someone than resentful for doing something you never really wanted to do. So here's to disappointing people. Here's to say no. Here's to choosing ourselves, even when other people expect us to choose them. Now, this is a simple shift, but it takes enormous courage and it may very well shock people who are used to you always saying yes, but it will help you get that energy back. Energy you can use for things that you really want, like getting out and meeting new people and experiencing how easy life can be when you're not tired all the time. Take really, really good care of yourself today and for the rest of the season and have the happiest of holidays.